In this problem, we have to find the Laplace transform of this integral. And we're going to do it using uh, the convolution theorem. You could probably like integrate this and do it pretty easily. Um, but let's do it using um, the convolution theorem, just for practice. So recall if you have two functions, f and g, and you compute the convolution, this is defined to be the definite integral from 0 to t. So already you see how it's kind of matching, right? We've got the 0 and we've got the t, so we're getting there. And it's f of tau, and you can use different variables here. Sometimes I use v or you know w. I'll use tau this time. And then g of t minus tau, d tau. It's fun to use taus. Um, so now we just have to kind of figure out um, what f and g are. So f here appears to be simply e. So here, let's go ahead and write that down. f of t will be e to the t. And then g of t doesn't seem to be here in this uh, inside this Laplace. So let's just say it's 1. That'll work. So g of t is equal to 1. So now you see that it does match. If you, if you take these two functions and you plug them into this formula, if I do f and I take the convolution with g, it'll be 0 to t. f of tau will be e to the tau. And then g of t minus tau, well, if you, if you actually work that out, you're just going to get 1. So it's just 1. Because right? no matter what you plug in, you get 1. And then it's d tau. So it does match. It does match. These are the correct functions, right? So this is actually equal to the Laplace of uh, the convolution of f and g. And the convolution theorem says that this is equal to the Laplace. This is the point of doing it this way. The Laplace of f times the Laplace of g. So again, in this example, um, you could actually just integrate this and do it. But uh, a lot of times it's really hard. So this is a good, a good approach in order to evaluate these um, Laplace transforms. So now we can just find the Laplace of each of these. So we have the Laplace of e to the t times the Laplace of 1. So again, you basically just have to identify which functions here are involved in the convolution, and then you can go through this route here. The Laplace of e to the t is 1 over s minus 1. That's an easy one. Recall that the Laplace of e to the a t is 1 over s minus a. So here a is 1. And the Laplace of 1 is just 1 over s. As a final step, we can maybe combine these, write it as 1 over s minus 1 times s. Kind of an overly simplistic example, but it is a little bit tricky because you, you have to identify g of t as being equal to 1. Okay, so a little bit, uh, a little bit different. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.